Good morning, boys and girls. It's Dr. Sanders in the house, back in room nine, the largest classroom in the region. Today, we're talking about some pre-K. <laughs> Sorry. We're talking about pre-K and K, ELA, and math. But the focus today is on ELA. And in ELA today, we are before we get to that, I'm sorry. Even though it's only for pre-K and K, remember, everybody, if you're two or 102, you can learn something, but also have some fun. Some F-U-N, fun. And yes, I work at Adams Elementary in St. Louis Public School District. You are correct. So let's get started. Let's look at our... Standards, our objectives. I will read environmental print and I will recognize shapes and use some positional words. So you ready to get started with that? Let's get started. Let's get it started. Okay, we're going to get started. Um, let's start off by looking at some more lowercase letters. You ready to look at some lowercase letters? We've been talking about letters all the time. So and these are, we did our uppercase or our capital letters. Now we're with lowercase letters. Can you tell me what letter is this? That's right. That's the letter F. F. What sound does F make? Funny first finger F. C, D, E, F. That's right. F. And what letter is this? I got a lot of queen. I mean, oops. I got a lot of queens out there. That's right. That's the letter Q. Hey, queens. Q. What sound does Q make? That's right. Q. It looks looks like a G, but it's actually a Q. So let's find Q. Q is right there. All right, let's go with another letter. What letter is this? That's not a letter. It's the blank letter. You can make it any letter you want. Let me just throw that out of there. Sorry. What letter is this? X. What sound does X make? Like in like in box. Like in fox. X. Everybody draw X in the air. Here we go. That's our letter X. That's our letter X. That's our letter X. That's our letter X. One more since I had a blank one. That wasn't very smart to have a blank one, was it? What letter is this? That's the letter R. What sound does R make? Rough. Run. Red. Red. It makes the roar sound. Let's find our letter R. It's right there. We have a few more lowercase letters to go, and we'll get there. Now let's look at some of our friends' names. You ready for some of our friends' names? Whose name is this? If that's your name, say, that's my name. Yes, that is Aubrey. And what letter does Aubrey's name start with? A capital A. A-U-B-R-E-Y. 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 And whose name is this? That is Brandon's name. Let's spell. What letter? Yes, Brandon, that's your name. What letter does your... What word does your what letter does your word what what letter does your name start with? A B, a capital B or uppercase B. B R A N D O N. B R A N D O N. Brandon, hi Brandon. And whose name is this? That is Miriam's name. That is Miriam's name. Right, that's the letter M. M. Miriam. M A R Y A M. M A R Y A M. M A R Y A M. And whose name is this? 
That's right. That's Jay's name. Hi, Jay's. And what letter does Jay start with? A capital J. J A C E. J A C E. J A C E. All right. Ooh, I see some name cards out there. I see. Ooh, I see all those names. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Remember to send it in so I can see your name card and we can share it. Maybe we can share it on air next time if I haven't shared it already. All right. Let's move on to our sight words for the week. I'm going to tell you a word and I want you to use it in a sentence. Okay. We're going to look at it, spell it, and then I want you to use it in a sentence. What word is this? Look. Who can use that word in a sentence? Go ahead and say it. I look out the window. That's right. What do I see? I see trees. I look out the window. Read, spell, let's spell it. Look. L-O-O-K. Look. <coughs> oh, excuse me, boys and girls. Woo, sorry about that. And whose name is, what word is this? For. Who can use that in a sentence? Ooh, somebody said, I look for some trees. I look for some trees out of the window. Yes, I look for, let's spell for, for, F-O-R, for. Uh-oh, Who's? what word is this? Some. Who can use his word in a sentence? Yes, we already did, didn't we? Some. I look for some trees. I look for some trees. Let's spell some. Read it. Some. S-O-M-E. Some. All right. And... Whose word is this? Whose word is this? What word is this? Am. You want to use it in a sentence? I am going to look for some <coughs> trees. I am going to look for some trees out of the window. Yes, we use the am and that too. Let's spell am. Am. A-M. Am. These are our sight words for the week. I hope you're learning them. And if you want to write a sentence using them, maybe you can write it. And what can you do? That's right. Take a picture of it. Have your parents post it on Nine Network or send it to whoever you send it to me. They can figure it out. Okay, let's look at some um let's look at some environmental print. Remember, these things are just in your environment that you just might notice just by driving by, walking by, looking on your screen. Let's start with this one right here. I'm gonna cover this one up. What is that? Right, QT, but what's the quick trip? See, you can read, can't you? Yes, quick trip. Does anybody know this one? We've been doing a lot of this if you've been virtual on virtual learning. Zoom! How'd you know how to read that? Even if you didn't know the letters, you know that is what? Zoom! I also read a book called Zoom a couple days ago. But this is on a computer, right? You can see that you can find it. What about this one in here? No, we don't want that one. What about this right here? That's right. That's right. Lego. Lego. This is Lego. And does anybody know what this one is? Yes, that's Apple, isn't it? Even though it doesn't say Apple, but you can recognize. And just looking at that and saying Apple means that you're reading. That's what it is. Is you're reading. We have Lego and Apple. And what's on the inside? Whoa! That was loud, right? That Black Panther, yes. 
And you noticed that that was Black Panther just by me showing you the picture. That's because you're reading it. You are actually reading those words or reading the pictures. And that is, that's a good way to start reading. All right, what about this one? What is this? Yes, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. You notice by reading it. Again, that's reading. And everybody better know this. PBS Kids. That's right, PBS Kids. That's one of my favorite is PBS Kids. And you can find it on your iPad or your computer, right? See, boys and girls, you can read just by seeing different, by seeing, by seeing it without even knowing the letter. Sometimes you still can read. So that means you're all reading, okay? I watch PBS Kids. All right, you've been sitting a long, long, long time. It's time to stand up. Okay, stand up. All right, put your hands above your head, way up, almost touching the sky. Wiggle your fingers. Put them out. Oh, stretch them out and then bring them in. Say, oh, clap. Out, in, out, in, out, in. All right, nod your head three times. One, two, three. Jump up and then down ten times. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, you keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Um... Take a deep breath in, let it out, in, out, all right, let's sit down on three, one, two, three, up, down, up, down, sit right down on the ground. Today, I am going to read a book because reading a book is my favorite thing to do. I'm going to read a book, and it is called Peep. Peep. It's called Peep. And the author is Kevin Luthart. And what do you think this story is going to be about? The chicken getting out of egg? That's what it is. Is he in or out? Looks like he's out right there, right? Did he start out or did he start inside? He started inside the egg. So let's see. This is the front cover. This is the, mm-hmm. And this is the, yes, yes. You all like, I don't even have to say it anymore because you already know what it is. Peep. And I'm reading this with permission from... Peak Street Publishing. So let's see. You have to look very closely. Look what he's doing. Looks like he's just going along, whistling along, doesn't it? Ooh. What does he see? Crack. Stay. Beep. Beep, beep. Uh, beep. Beep.
Yes, the bird is doing a lot of stuff with him, isn't he? Looks like it became his friend. Ooh, look on this one. Wow! Beep! Cool! Beep! Yeah, she started taking care of him. What is the little chick see? That's probably a little duckling. Quack! Quack! Quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack. It's time. Quack, 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 quack. Ooh, they went to the duck pond. Yeah, they had to drop the little duckling off with his family. Bye-bye. Quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Hmm. Looks like he's thinking about the little duckling, his friend. Uh-oh, what's next? Maybe, let's see. Meow, meow, meow. 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 Yep, he has a kitten at the end. Did you like that story? Yeah, it wasn't a lot of words. You had to look at the pictures, right? And, like, if I just showed you a picture, you could tell me the story, right? Like, if I just showed you this picture, you probably could say, like, what was he doing? He was watching TV with his new friend, right? And they were playing what? Soccer. Sometimes just small words can tell the whole story. So what was the story about? Yes, a duckling being cracked out of an egg. He was inside it. He came out, and he became friends with the little boy. Yes. Right. Yes, that's correct. He became friends, and then he had to go with his, other, his real family, though, right? And then at the end, what happened? Meow. Meow. Yes, a cat came along. All right. All right, boys and girls. I hope you liked that story. It was okay. No, I liked it. I loved that story because it was, it was cool. And you can draw a picture of that if you want to. You can. Maybe your teachers later on can. Maybe they'll hack some chicks for you. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Talk to them about that. You talk to your grown-ups about that. All right. Now let's think about this. Hmm. It's math time. You ready for some math? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do a little counting. Let's get my number chart, then we're gonna do a little counting. Are you ready? Yes. You better be. Oh. Oh. Here we go. We're gonna do a little counting. My zero I always trying to hide. We're gonna count from zero to you know what, today, we're just going to start with 21. Okay, you want to start with 21? Let's start with 21. All right, you ready? Let's go. 21. 
Think about something. Yesterday we talked about we, we talked about some shapes. We talked about some different types of shapes, and we looked at them in, in my shape book. And we're gonna do that again, and we're gonna name the shape, and we're gonna tell we're gonna we're gonna name the shape, and then we're gonna talk about how many sides or corners or vertices it has. Okay, and these are all two dimensional shapes, and then maybe I'll have time to show you some three dimensional shapes. Remember, I made my book. Did you all start making your book? The only thing I did is I took some regular paper, some colored paper, and I just folded it in half, and then I have my book. And then I drew some shapes in there. And maybe you can find some shapes where you can find them in magazines. Maybe you can cut some shapes out of magazines or newspapers. Or just cut your shapes out yourself. All right? So here we go. What is this? A triangle. How many sides? One, two, three sides and three vertices. So triangle. What's this over here? Circle. What's this one? Rectangle, four sides, four corners. Octagon, eight sides, eight corners. Not that, rhombus, rhombus, four sides, four corners, one. One, two, three, four. And the corners are inside, right? Like right here. One, two, three, four. What's this one? An oval. An egg head like Dr. Sanders head. Shh. Don't laugh at me. How many sides does an oval have? Zero sides. What's this right here? A trapezoid, four sides, four corners. This shape has six sides. What shape is this? A hexagon and six corners. And our last 2D shape is a what? That's right, a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides. And five corners or vertices. All right. So keep practicing your shapes. Or you draw your shapes and let me see them. And you can see them in different places. When you're driving down the street. When you're walking down the um, street. When you're walking down the street. Or all over the place. You can see different shapes in your books. And you can say, oh, oh, I know. That's a trapezoid, grown up. Right? You can tell your grown up, that's a trapezoid. Or that's an octagon. Okay, let's look at a couple 3D shapes. Just look at a couple 3D shapes. What is this? Yes, that is a ball. That is a ball. It's called a, if I say sphere. Sphere. That is a sphere. A ball is a sphere. So when you see a ball, you say, oh, that's a sphere, mom. Is, is it a circle? It's made, it looks like a circle, it's round, but it's a sphere, okay? What about this? Ooh, 
That's a pyramid. Everybody say pyramid. Say pyramid. I have two pyramids. This come from Belize City. Actually came from there. I don't know where it was made. All right. That's a pyramid. What's this? One side is a what? Square. But the whole thing is a cube. Everybody say cube. Cube. And the, the one side is called a face. Like on the pyramid, this is a face. This is a face. This is a face. And this is a face. That's a face. A base. On a cube, you have a... You have faces too. And then you have where they come to a point at. Vertices. We'll talk about that more. And what about... What about my cup? What is my cup? It's a cylinder. It's a cylinder. If I had a top, it's a cylinder. Um, I had another cylinder, but that's okay. Sometimes markers can look like cylinders. But there that's a cylinder. Oh my goodness. Don't laugh at me. I just dropped it a little bit. Let me put my shapes back in my cylinder. So we'll talk more about our 3D shapes. All those shapes were three-dimensional shapes. We'll talk about more about those tomorrow, okay? And we'll talk about all about them tomorrow. So, yes, it's about that time. So guess what? Let's, 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 can you read this? That's right, teaching in room nine. Oh, I hope you learned something today. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Teaching in Room 9 is made possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.